Hi everyone, it's Dave from Colossal Fossils in Wausau, Wisconsin. We're a nonprofit educational museum. Uh, we talk about Wisconsin fossils and dinosaurs and Ice Age animals, all things of those nature. We've got a really neat anthropology set up for some future videos. Uh, today's topic is Wisconsin fossils and where to find your own. Uh, we are in the midst of a COVID-19, you know, almost countrywide lockdown. So that doesn't prevent you from going outside to explore. So purpose of this talk is to give you some ideas on where you can find fossils of your own with your family. And uh, hopefully with a little bit of luck, you'll find some uh, neat uh, treasures for your own fossil collection. So to give you an idea, first of all, um, I want to talk about the last glacial period that North America experienced. Um, the features that it left behind in our state of Wisconsin were so extreme that they actually named that, you know, continent-wide uh, glacial period after Wisconsin. Um, it's known as the Wisconsin Glacial Period or the Wisconsin Glaciation. And here's a map of our state to kind of give you an idea. This line right here was uh, how far the glaciers extended. Uh, there's different lobes. So every little bump here has a different name. We have the Lake Michigan lobe, the Green Bay lobe, Langlade lobe, Langlade County, Wisconsin Valley lobe, like if you're in the Wausau area, uh, Chippewa lobe, Eau Claire, Chippewa Falls, and Superior, Superior, Wisconsin. All this up here, the ice they estimate was anywhere from one to two miles thick. That is a lot of weight on the land. And as those uh, glaciers uh, retreat and extend further south and go back and forth, they're grinding up those rocks that may have contained fossils. So up here, you're not going to find fossils. Uh, anything that is left up here is very, very old bedrock. You know, a few billion years old. It's all volcanic. So we have uh, granites, um, rhyolite, basalt, uh, the things that you see along the Great Lakes. And uh, that extends even uh, where I'm from, um, Wausau, Wisconsin. My backyard is loaded with rhyolite. So that gives you an idea. We're not to go fossil hunting. However, if you do want to go fossil hunting, all along here, the unglaciated area, that's the driftless area of Wisconsin, down here, and even up into here, the Lake Michigan lobe uh, didn't do as much damage as uh, some of these other lobes. So you're going to find a lot of fossils, and I'll give you a lot of examples um, during the rest of this talk. Uh, some of the first ones, uh, when I was growing up, I grew up in southwest Wisconsin in a little town called Soldier's Grove. And in that area of the state, there's a layer of rock called the Prairie du Chien Group, or Prairie du Chien Formation. Um, the dates are, it's 485 to 470 million years old. That is insane. What you're going to find there are gastropods, or, you know, snail shells. You'll find brachiopods, which are a type of clam. You'll also find some clam shells in there, and uh, crinoids, which are similar to corals, and then corals as well. And I should also mention that you may find a Wisconsin state fossil. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, some of the ones that I found when I was a kid, uh, these are some examples. This is a part of a shell. I'm assuming a clam or brachiopod with there. It's uh, impartial. And uh, this is from Fenimore, Wisconsin. This is a brachiopod. And again, it looks very similar to a clam shell, um, but they're not at all related to clams, um, the ones that we know and love today. Some other ones that you'll find. So all the corals are a type of, uh, are from a group of corals called the tabulate corals. You can see all there, kind of got some bad lighting right there, but um, you kind of get the idea. All the little holes, here's a much better example. This is called a honeycomb coral and I have found these anywhere from Dubuque, Iowa, all along the southern portion of Wisconsin and up into Door County. I have a really nice example from Door County here and uh, when I show this to kids at our school and library programs their first thought is, oh this is a bee nest, a beehive, you know, a honeycomb. And I'm like, nope, this is coral. Uh, its nickname is the honeycomb coral but again it is a coral. So in every single one of these, you know, openings there, um, there was a small little coral animal, a polyp, you know, living inside, um, catching food and whatnot. Um, 
every day. Some other neat ones that you find, these are some very bizarre ones, a couple examples. Uh, again, I have seen these in Iowa and all along the southern part of Wisconsin. This is actually a type of algae, uh, it is believed to be, a very well-structured algae. And they, the fully formed ones are almost perfectly round with that same pattern there, okay? Now, when you're looking for fossils, look for layers of sedimentary rock. These are layers and layers of rock. Best place to find them is when you're driving along country roads and highways. Uh, you see when the road gets uh, built between a hill or where they have to cut the sides of the hill away to make the road. Look in those areas for those layers of rock. Pull over as long as it's in a safe area you know, with not a lot of traffic and uh, my general rule is if you don't find anything within four or five minutes, it's probably not worth your time. Get back in the car and keep moving. Um, I find that if you're in the bottoms of the hills where there's a lot of sandstone, you're not going to find much. Um, you may occasionally find a worm burrow, uh, a prehistoric, like half billion year old worm burrow um, through the sandstone. Otherwise, your best bet at finding fossils is going to the tops of the hills where those uh, rock layers are not quite as old. Still, they're, we're talking like 480 million years old, so uh, quite a bit older than me. And that's where you're going to find your corals and uh, basically your coral reefs. Uh, another area, um, Milwaukee is kind of special because uh, within the city limits, um, there's a small portion of uh, bedrock that is from the Devonian period, also known as the Age of Fish. Uh, my dates that I have, it's 440 to 419 million years old. I've heard reports of people finding the occasional shark tooth or, you know, bits and pieces of uh, uh, fossilized fish. So that's really cool. I've never found any um, personally there. But moving back into uh, the Door County area, um, I've been there quite frequently uh, with school programs and library programs over the last few years. And that's where you find, you know, the honeycomb coral and this. This is called a chain coral, okay? And it looks like, uh, the best way to describe it is, um, you know, sometimes people wear those necklaces with the very thin uh, chains. It's like someone took a chain, balled it up, and then stuck it in a, in a ball of mud. Whoop, I just lost it. Here's another one. So that's kind of what we have there. Looks like the chain, turn around, it's, uh, again, it's a little coral colony. Very neat. Now, there are some really big fossils in Wisconsin. So you're not going to find any dinosaurs because the glaciers ground away anything that may have contained uh, potential dinosaur fossils. Instead, the big ones tend to be these things. So these are squid fossils, uh, Orthoceras, uh, there's a few different uh, species that are out there. And squid at this time period, again, 450, 500 million years old, they had um, hard exterior shells. This was a straight, straight shelled uh, squid. There are ones like the ammonites with the curling, uh, like a modern day nautilus. Okay, so this is from a squid. I know two people who have found some massive ones. Uh, some species get uh, gargantuan. In the River Falls area, a woman I know found one that was about 10 feet long. Okay, we're talking a shell was probably about that big around. And they tried to excavate it from this rock quarry, but it just crumbled into, you know, thousands of pieces. It was, uh, in essence, junk at that point. Uh, another one, a guy in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, found one of those squid fossils that was 18 feet long. He hand excavated the entire thing himself, and it's intact for the most part. You know, feel broken up pieces. Um, so you find those, you find reports of those in southwestern and the western portions of the state. And I've seen some in the rock that were about, you know, that big around and, you know, maybe two or three feet long. So they do get big here. Now, Door County is... Uh, in my own personal opinion, exquisite. Uh, this is one that I found a few years ago uh, between the cities of Sturgeon Bay and Dykesville. Um, there was like, um, it was on the Green Bay side of Lake Michigan. And you go right to the edge of the water, there was, a, I believe, a little YMCA camp. It was kind of in that area, you'd have to look it up. 
walk around where the water's splashing up and eroding uh, the rocks away, and you will find things like this. Now this one is heavily eroded, but it gives you a pretty cool indication of what used to be inside this rock, okay? All these little lines, these are partial broken up shells, okay? We got the same thing on the other side too. That may be coral right there, okay? I have another one from the exact same spot. This one is not eroded, but uh, here, here, those are some brachiopod shells, okay? So again, they were kind of like the clams, but when I turn this thing to the side, kind of difficult to see there, but when I look at it up close, there's just layers and layers and layers of shells. So this was like a mass mortality plate. Um, something happened where a bunch of shells got washed up into one area and along with a lot of sand, solidified, turned into a fossil, and then a guy like me finds it uh, a few hundred million years later. Now, moving on to the Wisconsin State Fossil, we call that the trilobite. Now, this one specifically uh, that I have here is from Morocco, but it is a calamine trilobite. Calamine trilobites are the Wisconsin State Fossil, and we find them here from time to time. Have I? No. Um, but I hear you can find them in the New Glarus area. Um, so, again, anywhere in that southern part of the state. If you spend some time looking in those rock cuts along the roads, you're going to find something. I have found uh, broken bits and pieces of trilobite, but I personally have never found a whole, complete, intact one before. Um, trilobite, its name means three lobe. So tri, like tricycle, triangle, um, triathlon, tripod, right? That means three. So three lobe, three body parts. First one is the head. This one is kind of, the, you know, the abdomen, stomach area. And then this is the butt. But I like to compare these to the little gray roly-polies that we find during the spring and summer months where, you know, you're outside and you lift up a rock or a piece of old tree bark and you see the little gray roly-polies crawling around with uh, two sets of legs on their underside. Trilobites had the exact same thing. They had a, a row of legs here and a row of legs here. Big difference, though, is these guys are bigger and they lived at the bottom of an ocean, which was Wisconsin. There was a few hundred feet of nice warm tropical water above us about half a billion years ago. Uh, we were also much closer to the equator as well. So unfortunately, we're not there anymore. So these things in Wisconsin, I hear, get up anywhere from uh, three to four inches long. So, you know, about that big. Uh, in Canada, they find trilobites that are about three feet long. So we're talking uh, the length of my arm here. <laughs> You're really big. So that is a nice little brief intro. Um, to finding fossils in Wisconsin. Again, to recap, the western side of Wisconsin, look for those rock cuts. Um, if you're down in the La Crosse area, go up into the bluffs. Look around. Do some hiking, okay? You get some exercise in the process. Southwest Wisconsin, same thing. When you're driving around through the roads and you see some bare sedimentary rock, look for the limestone and dolomite. Maybe not waste your time with the sandstone unless you're just really determined to find something good luck let me know if you do find something and same thing all along the eastern part of the uh, Wisconsin is part of a um, giant coral reef it's known as the Niagara escarpment that goes all the way up into Canada and then back down at Niagara Falls and the eastern part of Wisconsin is part of that slab of rock it's a giant coral reef um, just about anywhere that I've ever stopped along that area to look at the rocks, I have found fossils. Uh, some of them are really big and it's can't extract them, but it's still really fun to watch them or uh, look for them. Um, in Door County, if you go along uh, the little inland lakes, you're going to find fossils uh, along the shoreline. Um, almost guaranteed. Every time I've looked, I have found something out there. Um, same goes with along the Green Bay area as well. So with that said, uh, that's enough for now. Um, we'll be getting into some anthropology pretty soon here. So keep an eye out on our uh, YouTube page. And until then, we'll see you next time.